Posting at the right times is important, but probably in a different way to what you've heard before. First off, go into account insights and then audience insights, and then scroll down to the bottom, see what time your followers are most active. A lot of pages will tell you to post during those times, but that's what everyone is doing. Instead, post about one hour before for those times. Quick tech tip before you hit that post button, and likely you already know this, but just in case, make sure you're always uploading at the highest quality. If you don't know how to do this, then just head over to settings, then account, then data usage and then scroll down to always upload at highest quality. Don't fall into the trap of thinking that if you export something as 4K, that Instagram will then upload it as a higher quality. It's actually worse than just uploading it as 1080. That's because Instagram doesn't accept anything above 1080. So if you upload a 4K video, it will compress it down to 1080 and make it look slightly pixelated and grainy. So just upload things at 1080, never higher. Make sure you always upload on Wi-Fi. Don't try and use your mobile data because sometimes it just it doesn't upload right or it uploads at a lower quality. Also, when you're getting ready to post a video, chuck it onto Instagram, but don't click post straight away. Let it play a couple of times first. Doing that just seems to cause a lot less issues I've found. So before you add music or anything like that, just put the video up and let it play on your phone a couple of times. The times that I haven't done this and I've just gone gung-ho and uploaded straight away, sometimes the video skips or it just doesn't look that good. And the only way I've managed to get past it is to just let the video play a few times. So what we want to do is be in the sort of the top five of the stories that pop up for a user. And to do that, we need to make really engaging stories. But how do we do that? Well, here's one way, and it's a little bit cheeky, and don't overuse it, okay? This is my little secret to share with you. And don't tell anyone. What you want to do is you want to add an emoji to your story and make it as big as you can. And then you want to move it all the way to the side. Users will think that that's sort of just like a little next button for the next story, and they'll click it. Each click counts as an engagement. So if that story got pushed out to say 300 people and 150 of them clicked on that by mistake, Instagram thinks that 150 people engaged with your story. So it's now going to share that story to more of your followers. And because Instagram saw that user engaged with your story, they're now going to show one of your reels on that user's feed. And now if that user likes it, Instagram's going to think, oh, this is a good reel. I'm going to show it to some friends of that user, some followers with a similar interest. So now you see that that one story post has actually led to a lot more followers down the track. So even though it doesn't directly grow you followers, long term it does.